Good morning, Westside, and welcome back to the latest edition of WLTV. I'm Dylan Malfick. And I'm Ronnie Malgar. It's National Deer Diary Day. Wait, Ronnie, did you just say today's National Deer Diary Day? Well, yes, I did, Dylan. Why? That's crazy. I just happen to have my diary right here. And here's what it said. Dear Diary, today is going to be the best weekend ever because it's the homecoming weekend at Leiden. Okay! That's right, West Leiden. It's homecoming weekend. Now, before we get to last night's festivities, we have a few reports on what else is going on at Leiden these days. That's right, Ronnie. The football game tonight isn't the only thing causing some excitement about sports here at Leiden. The boys' soccer team is once again having a great season. WLTV's Alexa Orozco caught up with a few of the soccer players to find out how their season is going. Hi, I'm Alexa Rosco. I'm here with Mr. Valentes, head coach of the Leiden soccer team. How is the team looking and what is your record? We're 9-1-1. One, and one. We're playing very well right now, halfway through the season and in the conference lead at 2-0. Who are the players you really rely on on the field? Well, we rely on everybody. It's 11 people on the field at once plus uh, a strong deep bench. So, But I'd say our leaders, our captains, Danny Kalawiak, Francisco Toral, Andy Moreno, and then our super junior, Eduardo Hernandez. <laughs> Okay, and then how did the game go against CGS? Well, we won a thrilling 1-0 game in overtime. Uh, Lalo fed the ball to Francisco, hit a 20-yard shot in the corner, so that, uh, that was a nice time for us to, to win the game, storm the field, and, and get one back against Downers, which is always good. So what does the rest of the season look like for you guys? Well, we're coming up about halfway point in the season. The goal is to win conference, win regionals, and win sectionals, and hopefully be playing on uh, Halloween, which means you're in the final eight. Little plug, uh, we have a home game Tuesday against Addison Trail, my alma mater, so it's always good to beat them, so we'd like to see some people in the stands for that one. Okay, thank you. You heard it from us. Back to the studio. Thanks, Alexa. Another winning program around West Leiden is a recycling program. These dedicated student volunteers circle the building once a week, helping to save the environment. WLTV's DJ Archilla spent some time with these workers to see how we can all help to keep garbage out of our landfills. Good morning, West Leiden. I'm here with special education teacher, Mr. Abuchar. Uh, Mr. Abuchar, would you like to tell us a little bit about Recycling Club? Sure. The Recycling Club is done by the uh, Life High School students, uh, juniors and seniors. And we do the recycling three days a week. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday during uh, ninth period. During ninth period. And um, what exactly should we be recycling in the recycling bins? The only things that should go into the recycling bins is paper, your regular white paper, your construction paper, and sometimes brown cardboard is put in there. Teachers will put brown cardboard in from items that they've received for the classroom, and sometimes whiteboard or what they might call mat board, which they might use for art projects we can have in there. And does West Leiden have some sort of recycling um, company that goes ahead and takes the paper? There is a company contracted to take just the paper. So that's the reason why we have to separate all the plastic and the candy wrappers and the Cheeto wrappers and the chip wrappers. We have to separate that out because all they take is the paper. All right, West Leiden, so make sure you're only recycling paper. Thank you, and back to the studio. Thanks, DJ. Tomorrow night is a big homecoming dance, and while student council members deserve our thanks for putting in countless hours decorating the gym and planning the event, a few art students decided to lend a hand. When the art department students heard the homecoming theme was Alice in Wonderland, they decided to jump down the rabbit hole and help decorate the entry to the field house. WLTV's Alexis Lopez met a few of the artists yesterday to learn how these students are contributing to the homecoming decorations. Thanks guys, I am here with Martin and Anna. So Martin, can you expand on what you guys are doing for this homecoming event? So what we're doing is we're drawing the theme of Wonderland for homecoming. And what you can do is here is when you see the characters of the heads, you can uh, t lay down and take a picture with your friends and you can look like one of the characters. Thanks Martin. So Anna, how long did this take? It took us roughly two days to finish. And what did each of you guys do to prepare for this event? So what I pre prepared for was uh, I drew a sketch or took an image from the internet and what she did. I um, drew on a sketchbook and then I transferred it into Photoshop. Thanks guys. Now don't forget to check out these drawings. Back to the studio. Thanks Alexis. Well, last night was certainly an exciting way to kick off homecoming weekend. WLTV's Leo Nunez waded into the family feud to find out how the East vs. West faculty football game turned out. Here's his report. Hello, West Lady. I'm here at the West here, and I'm here at the West vs. East football festival. I got here Bree and Dyer. 
Bri, give us a little description of today's event. All the money we raise from the entrance fees and the concession goes to the Lighted Family Fund. Okay, kind of moving How do you feel about this? Bring us both down. Second down. Our government family here is scoring the game time touchdown. Ms. Miller, how do you feel about scoring that touchdown? It was a good feeling. It was nice for our team. Um, after last year, West won to make it a competitive game. It was a pretty good game. Ms. Miller, why do you participate in this game? Well, I love that it's a charity event. Um, I also love that the kids come out and watch us play and I enjoy hanging out with the other guys out here. Alright, thanks Ms. Miller. Back, Back to, to the, the studio. studio. Thanks, Leo. And of course, the big event last night was the crowning of the 2017 Homecoming King and Queen. WLTV's Killa and Kazaka bravely waded into the chaos after the pep rally last night and following the big announcement, she filed this report. It sure feels like we're more in the homecoming spirit now. Yes, it does, Dylan. Yes, it does. Well, that's all the time we have for you this week, West Lydon. Good luck to the football team playing against Lions Township tonight. Good luck to also all the other teams competing this weekend. I'd also like to give a special shout-out to the Lydon Marching Band, knowing that they will have a great halftime performance. Have a great homecoming week. West Lydon. What can we say? Once an eagle, always an eagle. And don't forget, West Lydon. Go Eagles!